Hello everyone and welcome to Multiverse Studio. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert any video to green screen video. So let's start the video. So as you can see, this is my video that I'm going to convert to green screen. Let me show you the video first. Okay. The videos that I'm using is from vidvo.net. In this site, you can find tons of royalty free videos. Some required attribution, some are not. This is not a sponsored video. I really like this site and I really use videos from Vidvo a lot. So let me drag and drop the video to my project bin. Now take the video to the timeline. There are many ways to change the video to green screen. So I'm going to show you two methods. Let me duplicate this video first. Now let me put this on a side. This is for the second method I'm going to show you. So what you need to do is go to video effects. You need to go to color correction. In the color correction tab, you need to search and use the effect called change to color. Now simply drag and drop that effect on your video. Go to effect control. Now you can see this is the properties of a change to color effect. Now just click this dropper icon and click here the portion where you want to change the color. Simply like that and that's the from portion from where you want to change the color. Now go to the two color click here it will give you option to change the color. Go to green select the preference of green you want click OK and it's done. Now you need to adjust a bit. Again, according to your preferences, you need to adjust. Now, let me show you something else. Now, in the change property, that's its hue, which is selected by default. If you do this hue and lightness, you will see a difference in here. Likewise, if you select any other options, the last one that is hue, lightness, and saturation is the most effective one. But you can see that some of the edges were gone whereas on the hue you can see there are some light edges you know so you can adjust a bit like this softness and all the the settings to see that what's going on actually you can use this option view correction mat which shows you what colors you are changing and how it's affecting the other objects on the video by adjusting these menus you can achieve perfection now let me show you another method of doing green screen so what you need to do is now notice this is on the video layer one you need to keep the main video to the second video layer i'm going to explain why i did this later on this video so now you need to find keying underneath the keying you need to find an effect called ultra key just drag and drop the effect onto your clip now in this project bin right click go to new item click color mat now this is the same sequence settings of your video click ok click the green color to make green background you can you can rename it or i'm just leaving this as it is now drag and drop the color mat beneath your main layer of the video adjust it accordingly now what you need to do is this is the ultra key that is used to key out any color of the video commonly used in green screen videos now under the key color there is a black color already selected and there is a dropper sign you need to click on the dropper sign go to the background color or whatever color you want to pick just click it and it's as you can see it's become green but it's not perfect you know so why i did the green mat because when you do this it will become black that is transparent video so if you put any color beneath that effect beneath that video it will turn to that color so in this case we are doing a green screen so let's unhide this and you can see the green so there are some jaggy edges all over the video so we can actually make it clear by adjusting these properties now on the transparency increase the transparency to make the effect good is the default was 40 and I have adjusted to 62 now lightness is default 10 I'm going to decrease to 0 shadows you need to play with this now sometime what happens is if you increase it it will show good results it depends on the clip itself so in this situation I have make it a 0 tolerance is 50 I have made it 0 it turns kind of smooth blurred edges so if you don't want that turn it back where it was or just click this it will reset this parameter 
Now this is the pedestal and it's also set to 10 by default. You can increase it. So it all depends on the video that you are working on. So you can use matte cleanup. The choke is zero. You can either change it. As you can see, there are some differences going on if you change any of the settings. It completely depends on the clip and how it looks and what you want more from that. I'm not going to change the choke anymore because it reducing the quality of the main subject that is the palm trees in this video. There is pill suppression. As I said, it depends on the clip and you can change all the settings. This is a color correction tab. You can adjust the hue, saturation and luminance. The color is corrected by the hue if you want to make it like this. Now green is, it didn't affect the green part because the green part is underneath the video that is the color mat this layer and this is the portion actual this portion is black so as you can see this is the black portion whatever hue and things we are changing it's affecting this portion of the video not the green portion of the video so i hope this video is helpful for you please click the like button and share the video with your friends so that they can also get benefit from this video so if you're new to my channel please subscribe my channel i basically make three kind of videos that is free to use digital effects attribution only you need to just give me credit for my work and you can use the videos as you want wherever you want second type of videos are my tutorial videos like this one and third type of videos are product unboxing the product that I purchased I make unboxing and review them honestly so hope you have a great day catch you up later multiverse studio signing off